Hello, Chris Sexton here with TeamHeliPros.com. Welcome to my fifth and final build video on my Whiplash 90E. I tell you what, this has been a truly, truly wonderful build. A couple of minor inconsistencies in how I really would have rather laid electronics, but at the end of the day, it's a great little helicopter. I did get the tail boom on, as you can see now. The um, tail control came out perfect. I got full 100% travel on the servo and got 100% uh, without any binding, so the full resolution of the servo. Right at 110 positive and negative in the servo control, so right there at the high side of the sweet spot, but right in the sweet spot of the, it's still in the green on the tail control. Verified my compensation directions, tail control, left, right, rudder. Locked, double checked all the frame bolts for Loctite, put my canopy grommet mount, my canopy mounts on, as you can see. The back, I was holding off on the, the back canopy mounts because they're part of the tail boom assembly and the front canopy mount is part of the ESC tray, so that went on last as well. So it's complete. Um, I did make one more pass through the setup, adjust the cyclic ring a little bit. Had to bring that down, I had a little binding on max cyclic throw, took care of that. Double checked all of my wiring. Um, spun spun up on the bench, um, checking for vibes, V-bar vibes, minimal, absolute minimal. I, I, I think it may have hit 20s. Um, and that was on spool up. Once it leveled out, it seemed fine. Bearings are good. Um, governor programmed. I'm running three head speeds. I have a, a really low takeoff landing, um, really low head speed of uh, 1750 loaded. 710 millimeter blades that's going to have plenty of lift to get in the air and probably with a few maneuvers um, my idle one uh, is set to 2000 and idle two is set at 2200 which is the high side of the mr mel's head speed calculator for plenty of headroom on this 500 kv motor um, i'm going to take a quick second and um, put the tip put the canopy together put the blades on it um, take a couple still shots of the final product and then when we come back um, show, show it completely together, blades on it, ready to fly and uh, a couple of final thoughts and then that'll be it. Really appreciate you guys sticking through this. It's been a, um, a long week for me. Started this build a week ago. Nearly a week ago. A week ago tomorrow. But uh, real life has a habit of getting in the way, doesn't it? But she's together. Uh, weather did not hold out well for a maiden today so I didn't rush home from work to get it, clean, to get it finished. Um, the weather's going to be crap the next couple of days, so it's looking like Maiden's going to have to wait until the weekend. But, high bright side, Saturday looks gorgeous. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get the canopy cleaned up, get the blades on it, and uh, when we come back, we'll be done. Well, guys, there she is. Miniature aircraft, Whiplash 90 electric version. Fly barless and complete. Blades on, tail set up, fly barless set up good. I mean, I don't know what more I could do to this guy. It is an absolutely beautiful bird. Very smooth build, no real complaints. Um, the only thing I can that kind of, I guess if I was going to say one thing about the bird, I had to dip into the spare parts bag a little too, one too many times. Uh, just, I don't know, I mean, you can see my workstation, I try to keep a pretty tidy area. Um, I, I like using the uh, build cloths because I can put the piles of bolts in certain places and segregate things by the bag that they come out of. I don't normally lose bolts, but I guess it's possible. Um, but I did have to use just about, uh, I'll say half the spare parts bag. One or two places that I guess it's possible I put a little longer bolt in a, in a different place than it should have. And, had to go into the spare parts bag to grab a long one that I needed. That's possible. I'm human. But other than that, I mean, for a four canopy mount canopy, this one goes on very easily. Um, Cano Mod never ceases to, to impress. Their canopies are top notch. Uh, flexible material, nothing really out of line there. Uh, all in all, just an absolutely beautiful bird. I'm going to um, snap a, a bunch of stills. Get some nice high quality pictures of the bird, it's complete. And um, I'll spell out some final thoughts on the forum, but it's done. Appreciate you guys following along. If you guys have any questions about the build, any questions about my setup, any questions about the fly barless settings, 
anything whatsoever, feel free to, to let me know. Uh, my 5,000 milliamp packs should be in tomorrow. Um, so if those land, they'll be made in with those. Otherwise, I'm going to use the 4,200 milliamps off my E7. A little light for this bird, but I think it'll be all right for a maiden. Uh, 5,000s will be the primary flight packs for sure. Uh, again, great build. Well done, Manchu Aircraft. Well done, Bobby Watts and everybody involved in the design. Uh, I know that doesn't mean much coming from a from a novice like myself, but I've built. This is, uh, I, I looked at my paperwork. This is my 28th helicopter build in the last... Ooh. 18 months. It's uh, got a lot of friends that have me build their helicopters for them. So I've experienced a lot of things. And uh, this one's definitely in my top five. Probably the top three. It's a great build.